I got this big old box uh, from WeBoost. And uh, I think you guys are gonna wanna see this. Hey, today we're going to take a look at the Connect RV65 Cellular Signal Booster from WeBoost. Now this is brand new, just hitting the market, and it's the latest uh, signal booster from WeBoost that allows us uh, RVers to kind of stay connected, uh, especially in these remote areas that we like to go camp and boondock. It claims to provide uh, even greater boost than its predecessor, the Drive 4GX RV. So I'm going to tell you what that's all about, uh, as well as do some side-by-side -side testing between this Connect RV65 unit and my Drive 4GX RV booster. Okay, what makes this package so big is this huge telescopic pole that comes with it. Uh, look at this. I think the base, look at this. This is about probably two, two and a half inches in diameter here. So pretty hefty pole that comes with it. And it looks like it telescopes up four sections or so. And uh, these plastic things here, looks like they uh, probably mount to the RV or to something. Uh, comes with a base, so the base I'm assuming is going to go here to anchor it to the ground for stability. And it uh, looks like they even have some major uh, holes here in the base, so you could actually just pound some stakes into the ground as well to kind of keep it secure. So, so yeah, pretty impressive pole that this thing comes with. Uh, I'm assuming for the outside antenna. Got some. Uh, Warning labels here on the pole. It says, uh, it says take the pole down if it's lightning out or if the uh, wind is over 35 miles an hour. So, roughly, so yeah, good idea. And do not use pole in motion when pole is mounted. So obviously don't drive your RV if you got the pole attached to it. it kind of reinforces that this is a stationary use booster setup. Okay, so this is the entire setup, uh, all the components that you would get with this kit. Now I went ahead and uh, looked through the instructions and connected a few things in the order in which I would actually install it. So using their mounting brackets, I, I attached some of the, uh, the uh, mounting brackets to the antenna, to the pole here, and uh, laid it out in this way so I could better explain it. Now for you guys who haven't used any kind of uh, mobile booster setup like this before, uh, the general idea is to uh, take a weaker signal outside of your RV, be able to receive that signal, and then amplify that signal, so basically boost it to a stronger signal that you can then retransmit inside your RV and get a nice strong signal on your mobile device. So you might be wondering what this blue tape is. <laughs> And I thought that'd be easy to illustrate that everything on this side of the blue tape is outside the RV and then everything on this side of this uh, blue tape is inside your RV. So let's walk through uh, quickly what these components are. You guys already saw this pole here. Now um, mounted to that pole is our external antenna. So that's the antenna that's going to pick up the weaker signal from the nearest uh, cell tower 
and uh, we're gonna it's a directional antenna that we're gonna basically be able to point uh, towards that uh, that cell tower and pick up that signal and this pole is gonna allow us to 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 get the best possible signal by jacking it up to about 25 feet high the higher we get the better possible signal we're gonna get so that's what the purpose of the pole is and that's something that's unique about this kit is this whole pole setup so that's pretty awesome and then uh, coming out of that uh, directional antenna through this cable we're gonna attach it to this uh, this narrow um, little flat cable that we're gonna be able to bring inside the RV through a really narrow opening and um, they suggest using a gap between the the rubber seal and the side of our RV uh, for our RV slide out. So be able to slide this uh, portion of the cable through that little opening to get the cable inside our RV. Now if you don't have a slide out, you could probably just use uh, the gap in a window or some other opening like that. And uh, so now we bring that inside the RV and run another cable to the other end of this. And that's gonna actually connect to our mobile booster unit itself. Now this is where the signal is gonna be amplified and uh, boosted. And uh, the output of that go through this cable to our internal antenna. This is the antenna that we're gonna mount on the inside of the RV. And that's gonna retransmit now this stronger signal uh, somewhere uh, around the internal uh, compartments of the RV so that we can get a stronger signal on our mobile device. Now, using our mobile device, we won't have to do anything different. We'll just get a stronger signal that we're gonna receive through here. Now, the main distinction between uh, this booster package and uh, others that uh, WeBoost have put out previously for RVers is that this one is intended for, um, for RV use when your RV is stationary and not moving. And uh, so if you're going to be somewhere for a long period of time, uh, you might want to consider this. Now, as a stationary use uh, booster, there are some advantages now. And that's where the 65 in the Connect RV 65 comes in, is that that means that it is designed to provide up to 65 dB of boost. Now, the 65 dB is the maximum allowed by the FCC for uh, signal boosters. The mobile ones, like the Drive 4GX RV and the Drive 4GX, uh, they have a cap of uh, 50 dB of maximum signal boost, and that's uh, also set by the FCC for uh, mobile use, is that you can't boost something higher than 50 dB. So, by uh, making this a, uh, a stationary use kit, uh, they can provide uh, a higher amplified uh, boosted signal through their booster and uh, I think that's going to have a big advantage for uh, RVers that, uh, that don't mind setting up um, this pole and uh, getting the, the antenna dialed in uh, to get the best possible signal. So where you uh, end up mounting this pole to the side of your RV is going to vary depending upon the size of your RV, the type of RV you have, and uh, whether you decide to use the mounting hardware that comes with this kit is totally up to you. Uh, what I suggest is that you first determine the best possible location for this pole before you uh, decide on a permanent mount. A couple things to consider is the, the separation requirement. Uh, the, they recommend that you have at least 25 feet of separation between the external antenna and the internal antenna. So depending upon where you mount the two antennas, you wanna make sure you have good separation to prevent any kind of interference. And uh, also keep in mind that the height of the pole is gonna give you that extra separation as well. Now the mount that comes with it works pretty well if you want to go ahead and secure it to the side of your RV once you decide where that location is. Uh, it does have some VHB tape on the back of this mount, uh, so be sure that you know exactly where that's going to be before you put that on because it's going to be very difficult to remove once it's, uh, once it's in place on the side of your RV. But it works pretty well. It basically, uh, this component here just slides into place and uh, there's actually a, a locking mechanism here on the bottom one that uh, you know will lock this uh, sliding part uh, in place so it doesn't move up and down. And there's also a pin that you can uh, just poke right in this hole here and it'll keep that uh, pole mounted securely in that uh, nicely seated in, in that mount. 
Now there's also another one at the top and what they recommend is you have at least four feet separation between these just to give it enough stability. Now what I ended up doing uh, for the sake of this uh, test is just to mount the uh, pole to my, um, to my awning rod here and uh, just using this heavy duty uh, Velcro strap, one here at the bottom and one here near the top of the awning uh, to uh, keep it nice and stable uh, since the awning rod here is pretty stable. So that's going to work for me right now and it's going to allow me to just take it down and, uh, and until I really figure out where I want to put it. I've tried this a couple of different ways. I've tried extending the entire pole all the way up to about 25 feet. And uh, what I found is that the pole becomes a little bit difficult to manage. So what I ended up doing uh, on the second go round, which I think is a little bit easier, is to just extend the bottom two uh, sections of the pole so that you can reach the top of the RV and you get the pole secured nicely to the side of the RV and then climb up to the roof and then continue extending the remaining sections up until you reach the uh, desired height uh, for your external antenna. Now before you start using uh, your booster, uh, one thing you're going to have to do first is just to verify that uh, your external antenna, that directional antenna that's on the pole, is actually pointing in the uh, right direction. And that's going to be the direction of the cell tower that you're trying to get a signal from. And uh, one quick way to figure out what the direction is, where that is located, is to uh, use an app. And uh, let me bring it up here. The one that I use is uh, called Open Signal. And it's a free app that you can download and uh, you can see here that I just bring it up and it quickly just gives me an arrow that points to uh, the cell tower that I'm currently connected to. And you know it's going to do that whether I have a little weak signal or not. So that's just a real handy uh, tool to allow you to just see quickly uh, how you have to rotate that antenna so that it's pointing in the right direction. Now once you have that pointed at that tower, uh, you have the best chance of getting you know, the best possible signal out of this system. Now if you don't have uh, access to this app, uh, the solution is basically to just, it's going to be hit and miss and uh, you're just going to have to kind of rotate that uh, antenna and keep testing uh, over and over again until you get the best possible result, until you get it dialed in. But uh, if you do have an app, this is the way to go. Well, I wanted to run through a couple of tests with you guys to uh, kind of see how this booster is going to perform for us. And uh, before I do that, I want to give you a, just a little baseline of where I'm at in terms of my signal level here. Um, so this is pretty typical. Right now, there's absolutely no booster on at the moment, so there's nothing being boosted. And my signal level here uh, in the RV at home, and it's a negative 100. And 11. It was negative 115 a second ago. Uh, so that's kind of normal around here. I get a terrible signal. And uh, so I'm hoping to get a you know significant boost out of this once we turn the booster on. Now I'm using an Android phone so I can look at my signal strength here just in my settings and go to the about uh, section and, um, and then you can see a, a little area for signal strength. And if you're using an iPhone, uh, to test this, you're going to have to put your phone in uh, field test mode. And you can just Google iPhone field test mode and uh, tell you what the uh, key sequences are that you're supposed to enter to put it in field test mode. And then once there, you'll be able to see the, the dB, the decibel signal level, at the top of the header on your phone uh, in the status bar. So... Uh, just want to give you that information there. And also I want to show you uh, where I have the internal antenna located. It's right over here. So you kind of see it's right on the other side of the um, dinette. And I guess it's about four feet, four to five feet away from me right now. So just to give you an idea what that range is. Now, what I want to do is uh, fire up the uh, the booster. So I want to show you what this is going to do. But I also have a Drive 4GX RV installed right here as well. So we'll also do a comparison side by side to see uh, how that uh, boost from this new uh, Connect RV 65 compares to the Drive 4GX RV. Let's fire this up. Okay, I just uh, turned on the uh, the Connect RV65 uh, booster, 
and I'm going to give it a, a little bit to uh, to actually uh, get a good signal. And um, I looked at it, and all the lights are green, so that means uh, it's it's connected, it's boosting. And uh, ooh, already I can see I'm down to negative 71 dB. So that's a pretty good that's a pretty good boost uh, with the antenna right here. That's 40 uh, some odd dB boost uh, right off the bat. Now it's not the 65, uh, but uh, what I found is that con those conditions are going to vary the, you know, from place to place and you're not always going to get, you know, the, the biggest signal possible. But uh, down to negative 71 uh, from 115, 111, that's pretty darn good. Yeah, right there it says seven, negative 71. I don't know if you can read that or not. So that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, what I want to do now is uh, turn off this booster and uh, just to kind of do a comparison with the uh, Drive 4GX booster, which maxes out at uh, 50 dB. So let's uh, go back to uh, our baseline, which is no boost, and then we'll uh, fire up the Drive 4GX. Okay, everything's uh, reset now and uh, the boosters are off and my signal strength here on my phone went uh, back up to negative 114 dB. So I'm back to a crappy signal. Yay! <laughs> okay, so let's uh, go ahead and I'm put this here in the holster and um, I'm gonna go turn on the Drive 4GX RV booster. Oh! The antenna for that one is right here. So we'll put the uh, antenna right there. Now you see it right there. There you go. Let's go turn it on. Now keep in mind that the uh, the Drive 4GX RV antenna that's mounted on the roof, it's an omnidirectional antenna, so it's going to pick up kind of a, a signal uh, from 360 degrees. Sometimes what it what helps when you reset things is just to switch to uh, what I do is just switch to an airplane mode, and that just kind of disconnects your phone from any uh, cell signal, and then switch it back to um, mobile mode mobile signal mode and then it reacquires a signal and uh, and kind of go from there. First let me bring in my settings and uh, see what I have here. Let's go to my about and status and okay. Okay so I got a this is kind of what I expected. So I got a pretty good boost out of the uh, the Drive 4GX RV uh, booster. Right now it's at negative 83 dB. So still a really good boost, but uh, it's a little bit less than the uh, than than the other one, which was at negative 71. So that's a significant difference. Yeah. So negative 83 though, still pretty good uh, boost. I don't know if you can see that. Negative 83 dBm. So that's with the Drive 4GX RV. So I think that was a pretty good test, uh, you know, testing the Connect RV 65 side by side with the Drive uh, 4GX RV booster uh, under the same uh, conditions at the same location. Uh, you can see that both of them gave me a pretty good signal boost uh, with the uh, Connect RV 65 a little bit better, about 10 dB uh, better. So that's kind of what I expected, and uh, it's good that it turned out that way. Um, so, so what does this say? So if you want to be uh, mobile, you know, obviously something like a Drive 4GX mobile booster is going to be uh, the best bet for you, you know, while you're in motion. But if you want to take the time to set up this um, the pole and a directional antenna and uh, you know get everything dialed in and you're going to be stationary for a longer period of time then you know maybe the connect RV uh, 65 with the higher boost is going to be the best bet for you uh, long term. If you've got any uh, questions about this particular uh, unit, this booster, uh, feel free to leave them down in the uh, comment section. I'll do my best to answer 
all the questions and you know I know there's some things that maybe get left out of the review I tried to cover all the key points that I could think of but uh, you know thanks to Webooth for providing this uh, unit uh, for review and uh, to be able to share it with you guys and uh, if you want additional information there's a lot of information on the Webooth website at webooth.com and if you're thinking of actually purchasing one of these or any of the Webooth products consider using our rvwithtito.com slash WeBoost affiliate link. Uh, you'll also be doing a small part to help support our channel in the process, but no pressure. Just want to throw that out that I am a WeBoost affiliate you know, for those of you guys who are interested in uh, going that route. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the review and I will see you guys in the next one.